Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is the Hammond Aerosol Smith bringing you a very long weighted test and evaluation report on my M1911A1 slash M1918 style gas blowback airsoft pistol. It's based mainly off of the WE brand M1911A1s, so basically the TNE report would be on WE M1911A1s. Alright, so first of all, a lot of the, the stuff on this gun is not, well not a whole lot, but a lot of the appearance anyway is just from other parts, um, from other brands or whatever. And this gun is over seven years old. So right there, that should give you a pretty good idea of how well it worked for me. As all my t and &E reports, all this goes from my experience. Okay. Right, so... Quality, I give it a B plus. Get off the floor. It's not that serious. I know a lot of you are um, spoiled by greater brands, I guess you could say, like uh, Toby Marori, KWA, and Akatsu, and even KJ Works. But WE isn't really all that bad. I mean, if you go from something really, really good, and then you try out something that isn't, you know, as good. I mean, of course, it's gonna seem a lot worse. Um, if you go from, I don't know, this is going to be kind of like a, a gamer point of view, but if you play Xbox 360 for years and years and years and you pick up an NES or an Atari, you're not going to think an NES or Atari is very good, right? Because you're so used to this more modern, better quality, better graphics, better game, everything's just better. Um, well, not everything, but you get the point. If you go for something really good and something lesser, I mean, of course it's going to look a lot worse than it really is. But, um, anyways, so let's empty the gun. Oh, while I'm holding the magazine, I don't have any complaints on the magazine, any at all. Um, it is a single stack magazine, it's made out of steel for the most part. Um, it's got some plastic parts on it, which people say break. They say the toe here breaks, or heel, whatever you would like to call that base plate. I don't know. I never had anything break on these magazines. I bought like maybe one, and it leaked out of the factory. But you know, that's one. You know what I mean? That happens sometimes. Uh, and the paint job on it is great quality. Uh, I don't know. I like these magazines. I don't. Like I said, I don't have any points. Anyways, so. Um, yeah, quality. The paint finish, the factory paint finish is horrible. It rubs off pretty easily a lot of, on a lot of the parts. The molding quality is, uh, it's okay. There's a breaking period for this gun, so I, know, I might do a video on how to speed up the breaking period. But the molding for the hammer is set too high. This grip safety is wrong. Uh, the original molding for the grip safety put this gun out of the factory. There's a big bump here. Uh, I grind that down so it's more like the real one. And there's a gap here. Uh, the gap doesn't really bother me, but it might bother you. You might get uh, bad luck and you might get a bad mag catch uh, that's slightly off-centered and using it in, in time it will eventually crack and then it might break. But lucky for you, all the replacement parts for this gun are really, really cheap or you can just get upgraded parts so that's not really that big of a deal um, the slide frame fitment isn't the best there is some wobble this one's got quite a bit of wobble because it is old but I don't see any difference in accuracy this thing's always been point uh, pinpoint accurate so you won't hear me complain there um, the design is flawed there's this part with the tang here. It, the tang here is a separate piece. It gets loose. It's just kind of weird. But it's more of like a... Just like a little bit of a bothersome thing. But it doesn't really affect anything. But the biggest complaint on the whole gun would have to be part 71. This little piece here. Uh, they do break very easily. This is a replacement part. I have a video on how to replace that part from, you know, very cheap scratch. You know, that's a zip tie actually, and that's worked for two and a half years now, flawlessly. You know, that that 
plastic piece in there that breaks, the original piece of it breaks, you're going to get reliability issues because uh, that's what that's the lead that holds the uh, outer and inner barrels together so they don't jam up. Okay, so as far as quality goes, that's all I really got to say about it. Um, durability, I give it a B plus. It is very durable. It's made entirely out of metal for the most part. It's full metal. Um, if you don't know what that means, full metal is pretty much whatever's metal on the real gun is metal on the airsoft version. The original gun does come with ABS plastics. Well, so does the real 1911E1. Mine is fitted with wood grips, like the 1918. These are for the real steel 1918. Um, you know, nothing's ever really broke. I mean, I've had mag catches that break over time because they just get really old. Uh, that's about it. If you don't take care of it, you might have problems with other pieces. I mean, that's a given. You just take care of the gun, and you won't have that many issues. It's just that simple. Um, Reliability, I give it about an A, an A plus. Again, you know, get off the ground. This is from my experience. I never really had this gun fail on me. Um, it's fired every kind of round I put through it, even the really, really cheap ones, those uh, piss yellow ones. Um, it's fired everything flawlessly, pinpoint accurate, no jams, no misfires, no misfeeds. Well, misfires and misfeeds are pretty much the same when it comes to airsoft guns. Um, it's never had any uh, issues or really any malfunctions. Um, when you first get the gun, you'll get some malfunctions where the slide will get stuck because of the hammer or whatever. But again, I said there's a way you can get through that, so it's really not that bad. Um, so, you know, overall this gun's always been very trustworthy. Uh, there's a reason why I've always kind of glorified it, like some of you may say or think. Um, you know, I just really like the gun. Uh, it's done very well for me. I put a lot of time and effort into making it the way that I like it. So, there's that. Overall, I think it's a very good gun. I mean, and then you look at the price and everything, and it's like, wow, what's the big deal? Well, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't see the, the big deal why these things have such a bad reputation. I mean, come on, guys. Like, one person puts up a video. Yeah, there's gonna be, like, a little bit of a run here. One person puts up a video of, like, a gun blowing up, and everyone who does airsoft thinks that every gun of that brand is gonna, like, blow up. That might just be a, a flaw in that particular gun. Not even the model. Just that particular individual gun. I've heard that the original first gen WEM 1911E ones, their slides always blew up, like around here, by the injection port, around the back, or wherever. I never had that happen, obviously. This is a seven-year-old slide, particularly. Thank goodness that's never happened. Um, you know, people say a lot of horrible things about it, or whatever, I don't know. I think a lot, of, like I said, a lot of people are just spoiled, and... You know, there's like steer clear, it's like, oh no, it's a hundred dollars, run away. Well, there's guns that are about eighty dollars and they're maybe a little bit better, a little bit worse. I don't know. I never, I, the only brand of 1911 I've ever used that's gas blowback is the WEs, and there's a reason for that. I've only had two of them for all of the years that I've been airsofting, and, you know, they've outlast, this gun particularly has outlasted all my KWAs. So, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just that lucky and I just got a really good one or something or or whatever. Um, but there you have it, guys. I mean, it's, it's a pretty damn good gun. There's a look at it with the slide back. That's an aged, weathered finish I did to it, personally, and the barrel's been painted. Alright guys, uh, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you later.